Here we have a pin. We want to clone it uh, onto a sphere. In order to do that, we have to first create the sphere and uh, create the cloner, bring it to the bottom, and put the pin as the child of the cloner. And select the cl cloner and change the mode to object. And uh, drop the sphere into the object field. You'll see the uh, pins are cloned onto the surface of, of, the, of the sphere, but they are tilted, so we have to go to transform and change the rotation on the, not edge, but P, to make it minus 90. Now they're correctly uh, oriented. Select the cloner again, go to object, and uh, the distribution here, as I said, is surface. But you can also clone on the vertex of of each uh, each vertex of the sphere, every vertex of the sphere. And so, if you um, select the sphere and reduce its segments, you'll see that every vertex has a um, a pin cloned onto it. Let's go back. Select the cloner again. You can. Uh, also clone on every edge edge on the sphere you can also clone on every polygon center you can also clone uh, inside fill up the sphere with um, pins when you clone in in the volume when you choose the volume mode so if we uh, turn off the sphere you'll see that uh, the inside of the sphere is filled with pins so and that depends on the uh, number of pins you chose here and you can increase it in order to fill the whole sphere let's put it back to default which was 20 and uh, but there let's turn the sphere back on you can also choose the uh, to clone on the axis axis of the object which is in the middle and when you clone onto uh, edge or polygon or vertex, you can also make a selection and clone onto specific edges of, of the object. So for example, if we make the sphere editable, let's turn off the cloner for now. If we make the sphere edi editable and go to the edge mode and uh, select the selection tool, brush tool, you can make a selection of certain edges and then go to select store selection it'll create a selection edge selection tag now if we go to the cloner enable it again we drag this uh, uh, edge selection tag onto the selection option you'll see that only the edges we selected are cloned onto the other edges are empty and that's uh, how to clone onto an object.